As a research and innovation lead uh, in NHS England, I don't do research anymore, although I am a researcher by background. Instead, I work in policy and strategy and guidance in helping the NHS and uh, health sector um, embed research more clearly into health and care practices. I did um, an undergraduate degree that was biological sciences and it was a very broad one, but during that I developed a real interest in uh, developmental biology, developmental genetics. And one of the one of the really good things about research project management is you get exposed to an awful lot of different forms of research. And it's amazing how passionate people are about the things that they're doing to improve um, not just sort of patient survival or sort of uh, patient outcomes, but patient experience as well. So there's all kinds of different different research approaches, but it's all driven by very passionate people. And it's it's a joy to work around um, things that can make this much difference to people. Most of the people I've worked for and the teams I've worked in, they've been very, uh, very female heavy. Uh, they've been led by lots of very uh, well-informed, very effective women. Um, when I first joined NHS England, it was partway through the pandemic and I, I found myself in meetings with really quite senior people in the research sector. And one of the things that um, really brought my joy actually was not only how effectively um, these senior people in the research sector across multiple organisations were working together, but also that um, women were at least half of the people in the room. Um, there was really good senior representation amongst women. I think this is really fantastic to see because it hasn't always been the case. Um, and I think as far as people coming into science or women coming into science, it's really important to have that visibility of senior women in science.